Good afternoon, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon, time to check on what's happening in the tropics. We do have more action out there, but I want to start off with Calvin because I do have some good news concerning Calvin. As of the last 30 minutes or so, Calvin is no longer a tropical cyclone. Of course, last night, this morning, during the afternoon, it kind of rolled over portions of Hawaii, especially impacting the big island of Hawaii, bringing some heavy rain, some gusty wind, gusts up to 65 miles per hour were possible there, and also some big swells, big surf, but it's starting to kind of weaken and lose that well-defined area of low pressure. So it is no longer considered a tropical cyclone. Still 40 mile per hour winds, movement to the west at 20 miles per hour and pressure at 1,009 millibars, but it is no longer considered a tropical storm. It is post-tropical. So still some periods of rain for portions of Hawaii, but that should start to move away tonight and especially tomorrow as Calvin continues to weaken. So this is actually the last advisory for Calvin. So we can say goodbye to Calvin over the next 24 hours. As far as the Eastern Pacific, We've got one system here that continues to look a little bit more organized and it does have a 50% chance for developing into a tropical depression, tropical storm or hurricane over the next two days and a 50% shot for development over the next seven days. You can see where it is, it's where that X is located, movement to the west, northwest. It's already west of the western Mexican coast, pushing away from the U.S. So that will be another one that we'll have to watch. We'll have to see if it can maybe get close to Hawaii as well. All right, let's jump over to the Atlantic, and we still have Tropical Storm Dawn out in the north central Atlantic. It has gotten a little bit stronger. Winds now up to 45 miles per hour, movement to the west at eight miles per hour, pressure at 1,004 millibars, and it now is pushing to the west. It will eventually shift to the northwest and then to the north and east. But notice it's staying out over the water, so it's basically going to be a fish storm, no impacts to land, so good news there maybe an impact to some of the shipping channels, but you see that it maintains tropical storm status through about Sunday, and then it weakens into just a remnant low by Monday afternoon with 40 mile per hour wind. So we'll continue to watch Don, but I don't think there will be any major impacts from Don. This, however, will have to closely be monitored. Of course, we're getting closer to August and September, which will be the typical peak of our hurricane season and we are going to start to monitor more closely these tropical waves coming off of the western coast of Africa and we have a new tropical wave just a couple hundred miles west of that African coast and it has a zero percent chance for development over the next 48 hours but as it pushes into the central Atlantic it will slowly begin to develop more most likely but even then over the next seven days just a small 20% chance for development. Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean Sea looking fairly quiet for now. No tropical waves showing up that could potentially cause us some trouble, maybe developing into a tropical storm or hurricane. So that is good news. We'll take that as long as we can get it. But as we get into August and September, of course, we've already got extremely warm waters out there. Sea surface temps close to 90 for much of the Gulf of Mexico, mid to upper 90s for those water temps for the Caribbean. So it's not going to take much for any system that would potentially develop to rapidly strengthen with all of this warm water. Water's well into the 80s as well for much of the Atlantic, central and southern portions of the Atlantic. Of course, that water's a little bit cooler in the northern part of the Atlantic, but most of those systems stay in the central to southern Atlantic, and that's where we have very warm waters acting as fuel for any of these future storms to develop. We do have one thing working in our favor. We still have that Saharan dust covering much of the Atlantic, kind of pulling in some of that drier air in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So as long as that dust sticks around, that will kind of help to hinder rapid development for these tropical cyclones. So we've got the warm water, but we also have the dust. So it's kind of canceling each other out for now. But once we get rid of the dust, I think we will start to see the number of tropical systems picking up. Right now, we, of course, I've already had four named storms. We still have Don, of course, before that we had Arlene, Brett, and Cindy. We currently have Don. The next name on the list would be Emily, and then Franklin, and then Gert. And then we have several more names that we could be using as we go through the remainder of our hurricane season. 
we're still just in the first couple of months of the 2023 hurricane season. As you can see with this map, with our tropical climatology, we haven't even gotten to the portion of the season that typically is the busiest. That is usually August and September, and then things start to wind down a little bit, at least back in October, for October rather, and then as we get into November, things usually really start to get much more quiet. But for now, nothing headed towards Southeast Texas or the Houston area, so good news there. But of course, you always wanna be prepared. So review your evacuation plan, your insurance plan, make sure you know those different things that you need to have in case we do have a tropical system heading our way. Make sure you have your emergency kit ready to go. Now is the best time to think about those things when you don't have to rush to complete your preparations for a tropical storm or hurricane heading our way. Also make sure to grab our Fox 26 weather app, get the latest tropical weather, forecast cones, our follow me feature, and any hurricane watches or warnings that may pop up in the near future. Well, that is all I have for you for our tropical update. Take care, stay safe out there, and of course, if anything develops, you'll be the first to know. We do these every afternoon, a little after 4 p.m. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shays.